Welcome Fluid Family to my new YouTube channel. I am Denise and I will be your fluid acrylic pouring artist here on YouTube. I have been acrylic paint pouring for almost two years. It will be two years in February. And I absolutely love this style of art. Acrylic paint pouring or fluid art is used to describe fluid acrylic paints being poured onto a canvas panel, a wood panel, or a stretched cotton canvas. But today people pour on many things, such as with the Christmas holiday being right around the corner, pouring on ornaments. You can hang on your Christmas trees, little Christmas trees, little wood carve outs of Christmas trees and snowflakes. This style of art started back in the 1930s and here we are in 2022, still finding new ways to enjoy this fun, relaxing, and unique style of art. There are various paint pouring techniques and you can also create your own technique as the Rinskadana did with the Dutch pour. This just means this style of art can really be tailored to you and your personality. As I like to say, my art is my personality on a canvas. Today's video will be for those who want to experiment with acrylic paint pouring, but they don't know where to get started. So come on, I'm gonna show you guys how. Here I just have some 16 ounce clear cups and some 10 ounce clear cups. I like the different sizes depending on the, the technique that I'm using to acrylic paint pour, but the cups are used to pour your paint in your water and mix it up. I also want to show the various paints that you can use to start your acrylic paint pouring journey. The Amsterdam Standard All, um, All Acrylics, this brand and the Pebio Studio All Acrylics, you can purchase these online and like Jerry's Artorama or Blick.com, I believe that's what it is, Blick Art. For your Windsor & Newton Liquitex, your Deco Art, Folk Art, these brands of paints can be purchased at your local craft store, such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I've also seen the Deco Art, the Deco Art Americana and the Folk Art Color Shift paints at Walmart. You will need some gloves. This is going to help prevent paint from getting up underneath your fingernails and just an overall cleaner experience when you are paint pouring because it can be a little messy. I purchased these blue gloves from Dollar Tree for $1.25 and then the black gloves which are a little bit more heavier I purchased from Lowe's or Home Depot. Here I have some regular quart paint sticks or aka craft sticks. I purchased these from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, they are about $2 per 30 pack. And I love the longer and wider sticks because they're easier on the hands when you are mixing your paints up. I also have microfiber towels that I also get from the dollar store. This five pack of blue towels here came from the dollar store for $1.25. And then um, the same with the gray ones as well. As you can see, I've used them. And then I also just picked up some more towels along the way. Next of the supplies you'll need is a plastic table cover or some kind of tarp or plastic uh, paint drop that you would use in order to protect your surfaces, whether it be a table that you're working on or the floor or even the wall. So I would use this plastic table cover to cover the wall as a backsplash. Here I went ahead and grabbed four cups that I have used in previous pours and I used them as paint stands. This is a very creative way in order for you to save money on paint stands and also reusing some of the supplies that you used. I already have some white paint mixed up here, but I'm going to go ahead really quickly and show you how to mix up some paint when you're ready to start paint pouring. Now this is just a four ounce tube of Liquitex basic, basic Acrylics. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour the remainder of this paint in my cup here. Go ahead and grab some purified water or you can use tap water, whichever you prefer. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of water in there, just enough to cover it 
cover the paint up in the cup and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up don't worry if you get any paint on the canvas you won't see it okay so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up here and you want to make sure that when you are mixing that you scrape your sides and the bottom of the cup while you are mixing also halfway through your mixing process scrape that craft stick because it has a lot of chunky paint on there from when you first began mixing up your paint and water all right let's get started with our simple straight pour technique i went ahead and finished mixing my paint colors off camera and I went ahead and put my 12 by 16 standard stretch cotton canvas on my paint stands. You can also use wood panels, canvas panels, or gallery wrapped heavy duty canvases. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cup and I'm going to get started with layering my cup. Now, when you are layering your cup, you can start with whatever color you want to start with first. center now I'm gonna get started with the pour I am going to do a standard straight pour so cup like so <laughs> in the paint that just comes from me mixing the paint up right before I started pouring and then the velocity of the paint as I was pouring it onto the canvas let's get started so I'm just gonna tilt my canvas to that bottom right corner and then you want to bring the paint back to the center this is going to help you get the composition that you ultimately are looking for and then bring the paint back to the center now you can do one or two things you can tilt to either corner this way or you can just grab the canvas and tilt to the round like such and now you can work like this it's so much easier to do it this way. Bring the paint back to the center. And then we're gonna come to this left corner here. I hope you guys can see that.
completed your very first straight pour. Yay! Okay. Now we're just gonna make sure the edges, the very tippy tip corners are taken care of. Sometimes the paint, for whatever reason, is allergic to the corners, so it never gets fully over the corners like you want, but that's okay. All you have to do is just wipe up underneath the canvas, grab some paint, and gently dab it on the corner that you want to cover up. And that is it. Congratulations, your very first straight pour is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with someone who is interested in paint pouring. Also, turn on your post notifications so that you are notified every time that I post acrylic paint pouring videos, tutorials, or different techniques that I want to try out. Okay, thank you so much for joining my channel today.